Uh, now I, I would like to offer a very warm welcome to a former resident of Connecticut, Brian Wallach. He is the co-founder of IMALS and received his bachelor's degree from Yale University. A few years ago, while Mr. Wallach was working as an assistant U.S. attorney, he was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS. He was just 37 years old. Refusing to let this shocking diagnosis deter him, uh, Mr. Wallach partnered with his wife, Sandra, who was a New Haven townie like myself, to co-found IMALS, which is a nonprofit organization that provides critical support and resources to ALS patients, caregivers, and loved ones while engaging with policymakers, promoting ALS research, and mobilizing communities to take action. So far, the organization has mobilized more than 60,000 people in the ALS community and has spread increased awareness of ALS to millions of people. Mr. Wallach is a force and an inspiration, and we are so delighted to have him today, along with Sandra. Uh, he will be discussing funding for ALS research programs and new initiatives that will accelerate development of therapies for all life-threatening neurodegenerative diseases. Welcome to you, Brian, and to you, Sandra. Thank you, um, Madam Chair, um, for the um, amazing introduction and for the opportunity to testify before you again today. Um, as you mentioned, my name is Brian Mark. Um, I'm joined by my wife, Sandra. And I have asked her to join me in testifying today um, as ALS has ravaged my voice. Two years ago, I sat before this committee and asked you to see us, hear us, and to fully fund the fight to defeat ALS. Thank you. Thank you to you and other key leaders. Because of you, we have increased federal spending on ALS research by 83 million in just two years. You saw us. The question now is how quickly we can end ALS and whether any of us living with ALS today will see that day. I come to you today with two urgent requests. First, to fund ARPA-H and to ensure that ARPA-H includes ALS. Despite President Biden's promise to Adi Barkin, the administration's request left ALS out of the list of diseases ARPA-H would target. You have the power to fix this by putting ALS back into ARPA-H. Second, to hold the FAA accountable for its fair to attack ALS and the flexibility and urgency in power stuff. In September of 2019, FDA released an updated guidance for ALS clinical trials. It stressed the need for, quote, regulatory flexibility and explicitly stated that, quote, when making regulatory decisions about drugs to treat ALS, FDA will consider patient tolerance for risk and the serious and life-threatening nature of ALS. The first test of FDA came this year when two ALS therapies, AMX-0035 and Neuron. FDA's response was no approval, no regulatory flexibility. Instead, FDA asked for another large, long, placebo-controlled trial for each therapy. Let me make crystal clear what this means. At best, these therapies now won't be accessible to patients for four years. By then, nearly every ALS patient alive today will be dead. This is nearly impossible to comprehend when AMX0035 appears headed towards approvals in Canada and Europe based on the very same data presented to FDA. And it is particularly egregious given that thousands and thousands of patients and caregivers have signed petitions to the FDA pleading for access to these therapies. I truly believe FDA is relevant on the more delicate public Humans. However, their actions here are impossible to square with their own guidance. 
I implore Congress to hold hearings to bring transparency and accountability to a process that has left the ALS community devastated. FDA's actions have provided Congress a clarion call to reform how FDA regulates treatments for ALS. In a disease that is 100% fatal, how is it that we don't fast track therapies to people living with ALS now? I ask you to pass and fund to the partisan bills to ensure this does not happen again. As for ALS and the Promising Pathways Act. The fight against COVID-19 showed how much regulatory flexibility FDA has when it wants to use it. And today, science is finally producing therapies that may be able to slow or stop this disease. This reality must be matched by a new regulatory approach that speeds promising therapies to ALS patients. It is our obligation to change the current broken system for all those facing ALS, just as we have for HIV and cancer. If we do, I will have a chance to see my young brothers grow up. You have the power to make that happen. I thank you for having the courage to do so. Uh, what can I say to the two of you? Thank you for your courage. And let's hope that your courage gives all those here the courage to move forward. We will make clear that ALS is part of the ARPA-H uh, effort. Um, and as we had to, and thank you for your tenacity, for your courage, for your pushing every day in order for us to be able to at least move the FDA to some semblance of, of, of understanding and humanity to the situation. Uh, the stark comment you make about four years from now, those who are alive today will be dead, in which case we can't wait. We can't wait, you cannot wait. Your family cannot wait. And those who are afflicted as you are, Brian, um, deserve deserve more. You deserve to have a fighting chance. That is all you are asking us for, <laughs> is a fighting chance. Um, and um, we're going to do our damnedest to give you that fighting chance. Because as you speak about, you know, and you say, Brian, I am ALS. And you say that as well, Sandra, we are all ALS. <laughs> We need all of us to impact this disease, which is ravaging. And so um, without, without today a cure. And uh, we, we have risen to this occasion before in the face of illness. We need to rise again to this occasion. And I can't tell you how grateful I am uh, to um, know you and to derive strength and courage from, from both of you in um, what, uh, what I do. I'll be personal about that. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart and I will do everything that I can uh, to see that we address those two areas um, that you so have eloquently described. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Godspeed, we will be in touch. Take care, you and your family. Um, thank you. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you. Um, <clears throat>